Hello everybody, thanks for joining us for another Walla Wallet walkthrough. We're about to launch the newest, highly improved version of Walla Wallet, and today we're going to take a look at some of the highlights and basic features of the wallet. We'll talk about restoring wallets, we'll talk about sending and receiving HBAR or other Hedera tokens, we'll talk about associating tokens with your account so you can receive them, we'll talk about staking, and then finally at the end, we'll go over some of the awesome new features of the latest evolution of Hedera NFTs. I want to thank all of our early adopters for all of your feedback and support, and let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're going to restore an existing wallet and Hedera account. Creating new wallets and accounts is very similar, but please, if you are new to crypto or Hedera, just remember to keep your recovery phrase secret and safe, and don't lose the account number either because you're going to need that to restore your wallet as well. Before we restore an account, let's take a look at some of the important settings that you're going to probably want to configure before you get started. You can enable a PIN code to make your wallet super safe and secure by enabling that. We highly re recommend that you do it. We're not going to enable it at this time, but we do recommend that you enable the PIN code. You can change the authentication timeout. You can change your maximum fee thresholds. The payment account, this is something that will become important later. You'll want to select a payment account that can pay any of the Hedera or Walla Wallet micro fees. The user email address is in case you want to use MoonPay for buying or uh, buying HBAR cryptocurrency. Airdrops when we are able to, when we can re-enable them. Airdrops, you will want to have that enabled. But this, feature, this is the setting that I wanted to talk about the most was this enable advanced features. Let's go ahead and turn enable advanced features on because that's going to enable, that's going to allow us to have multiple wallets and accounts within Walla Wallet. By default, we now support one account, but you can enable advanced features and then you can have as many wallets and Hedera accounts in Walla Wallet as you like. Okay, so we're going to go back to our wallet and we're going to restore a wallet. I'm going to tap restore wallet. We'll give it a nice name. And then we'll put in the recovery phrase. We'll be back in just a minute. Now that we have our settings configured and our wallet restored, we'll tap finish wallet setup. We're going to add or restore an account. Tap restore account. And now you need to put in your Hedera account ID with the checksum. Checksums are there to prevent typos and prevent you from swapping numbers or leaving them out. Um, they are enabled by default in Walla Wallet and we highly recommend that you use them because again, we've seen a number of users lose, uh, lose considerable amounts of HBAR by sending HBAR to a wrong account uh, ID. So the checksums are there to prevent that. Uh, so we recommend that you use them. If you're not familiar with the checksums and how to find them, you can easily go to hashscan.io where you can find the checksum. You just enter your account ID. And when you hit enter, it'll pop up, pop right up. And next to the account ID, it'll show you what your checksum is. So you enter in the checksum. We'll give it a nice name and restore account. And now that we have our Hedera wallet and account restored, let's take a look at how you would send within Walla Wallet. We're going to select one of the tokens here. We'll go ahead and select HBAR. You can see the send button here on the right. We'll go ahead and tap send. We're going to send to one of our other accounts. Don't forget your checksum. We'll send one HBAR. We'll put in a little memo for test and tap OK. Any fees and payment estimates are here. We're going to slide to pay. The transaction is processing, takes just a second. And then like magic, voila, the transaction has succeeded. Great. If you want to receive, you can tap the receive button here and that'll bring up your QR code. It also brings up the account ID with the checksum, which you can copy for your convenience. You can include or not include the checksum just by tapping the little button there. We'll change that. All right. And tap OK. If you wanted to buy cryptocurrency, you tap on the buy button and this will open up our MoonPay widget. 
We're not going to go through the entire MoonPay widget right now. There are plenty of great tutorials for the MoonPay widgets uh, on YouTube. So we'll go ahead and skip that for now. But if you want to purchase cryptocurrency, it's super easy through MoonPay. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at associating tokens. So you can see that I have Jam already associated with this account. So, uh, but let's take a look and see what happens if we were to try and associate Jam. We'll tap associate account. The token ID for Jam is 0 0.127877. We'll tap associate token with account. You notice there is a small wall wallet fee for this. We charge a penny for token associations. And go ahead and tap slide to pay if you agree. And as one might expect, the token is already associated associated to the account, so the transaction so the the transaction uh, didn't really work. But that's okay. That's how you associate tokens within Walla Wallet. Staking is also very simple. Tap on the staking button. You can view the staking info. That does charge a small. Uh, Hedera micro fee. Walla Wallet doesn't charge any fees for that one, but there is a small Hedera micro fee for viewing the information. We're going to cancel. We're going to go into configure. We'll tap configure. You can see Hedera node ID one is the uh, is the default node set there. Let's go ahead and change that to five just for kicks. You can see there that the earn staking rewards button is already enabled by default. We figure that most people are going to want to earn their staking rewards. And then we tap update. You can see that there is also, there is a small Walla Wallet fee for uh, staking configuration. We're gonna go ahead and tap slide to pay. And the transaction was successful. Okay, now we'll view the staking info. This time I will go ahead and pay the small Hedera micro fee just to take a look and see that, yep, the information is correct. We are currently, we are now stoked, staked to node ID five. And then last but not least here uh, at the top of the screen, we've got the keys button. We can tap the keys to see uh, recovery phrase, private keys, public keys. And because I have the uh, advanced features enabled, we can see the master and derived keys. Within Walla Wallet, the private keys are stored within your secure enclave. Or uh, if it's an Android, I believe the Titan M chip is the dedicated hardware. So on both Android and uh, iOS devices, your private keys are safely tucked away in a dedicated hardware chip called the Secure Enclave or the Titan M, depending on what kind of hardware you're using. So there's your keys. Up above those, you have the bell icon. This is for notifications. We send out notifications uh, when there's any important uh, information or updates um, regarding Walla Wallet. And then the refresh icon right next to it if you notice that uh, the balance that you're looking at isn't the balance that you expected or if the tokens are being kind of slow to load a lot of times you can tap that refresh icon and it'll bring it'll uh, it'll refresh and uh, and the tokens will will pop up and you can see the balances uh, the balance uh, adjusted accordingly now let's take a look at one of our nfts there's some super exciting stuff going on with nfts this is really the evolution of non-fungible tokens here. So let's take a look and see why. All right, so we have our Super Metadog Alpha Amy M-Dog token. This is uh, my partner and I, Rob, goofing around and having fun with making NFTs. We're using this as an example so we can show off all the great things that you can do with NFTs. You can browse the file, you can share the file, you can download the file that's associated with, uh, that's associated with the NFT. There's lots of descriptors. You can link YouTube videos and embed these into your NFT. Descriptions, you can include links. File nesting, you can have all sorts of files nested and associated with your NFTs. You can have extra videos. You can add photos. And you can even add things like documents, like PDFs. You can see all kinds of properties, what the different traits of the NFT are. You can see the rankings, you can see rarity, boost powers. This is all the stuff is great for gaming use cases. And that's gonna be it for today's walkthrough. We appreciate everybody joining us. 
We hope you enjoy the new version of Walla Wallet, and we'll talk to you soon.